Hey everybody, I've got my 2020 uh, Shelby GT500 carbon fiber track pack up on the lift behind me. I'm going to talk about uh, my transmission over temps at the track and uh, how I came about solving that. Uh, I never had uh, temperature issues before, run this thing hard at the track, never had issues. Um, but uh, my two days at Coda and my follow-on day at Eagles Canyon, uh, I had temperatures uh, too high for the transmission. Uh, 260 degrees is where that trips the transmission over temp. Uh, saw that on the digital dash. Um, what I tell people initially when they have issues with their transmission is make sure their transmission fluid is full. These don't always come full from the factory. I'll put a link up top as to how to drain and fill and check uh, your transmission fluid. Um, I did that after my two days at uh, Coda. I drained it and filled it so I knew it was full. The overtemp uh, followed me at uh, Eagles Canyon. So I contacted uh, a uh, Ford uh, service tech here at my local dealer. He contacted the um, Ford engineers. They recommended changing the uh, two filters. That's another video I'll link up above. Uh, we did that, but also I, I don't think that was the problem after the fact. I saw later that my transmission cooler was completely plugged up. It's kind of a design flaw, if you will. Now there's limited real estate in the front of this vehicle. There's six coolers on the front, so I understand why uh, they did what they did, uh, those that developed this car. Um, you know, limited space on where you can put coolers, but there's a problem with the trans cooler in its orientation. We're gonna take a look at that now. Okay, so the front of the car here, you've got a radiator intercooler up top and kind of center there. Uh, over here, this is an auxiliary engine cooler. Uh, coolant circul circulates through that. Over on this side, uh, engine oil cooler. But on the front, you know, not a lot of real estate here. The trans cooler is a horizontal. It's kind of hard to see through the grill here right now. But uh, it's horizontal down there, and it's basically a shelf that collects a ton of debris. Um, if you do any tracking, or if you do a lot of tracking like I do, you're going to follow cars working on passes, and you end up getting pelted with little pebbles and uh, hot rubber from uh, the track and the tires ahead of you. Um, you get all of that debris collected down in here, and uh, it basically plugs up the cooler. Um, if you spray water in from the top uh, through the grill right there, it's not going to do anything because all those rocks and uh, melted rubber are all jammed in there and plugged up. And then also, let's see if I can zoom in there. So that bracket back there uh, that runs across looks like an airflow and kind of a uh, support structure. That blocks access to really the rear third of that transmission cooler. Um, when I thought I had mine all cleaned out, I dropped it down. We're going to take a look at that here in just a second. And mine was 100% plugged. You can remove the front fascia, which I've done multiple times, um, but uh, really not necessary. In order to clean the trans cooler, um, you're going to need to remove the front or the bottom section of the uh, front splitter there, as well as the uh, big closeout panel on the bottom. Uh, once those are both removed, you can see this is the bottom side of the trans cooler right there in the bracket. To remove, you got four eight millimeter bolts that go through uh, these rubber bushings into the cooler itself on each of the four corners, right here, here, here into the bracket. Take out those uh, eight millimeter bolts. The trans uh, cooler won't fall down because it's kind of in there with uh, some weather stripping. Um, when you go to pull it down, watch the weather stripping on these speed nuts, and then uh, you'll pull it down and it'll hang. You can see the top and bo bottom side, you know, our front and back because it's hanging down. It'll be hanging down perpendicular to, uh, you know, the front there. Um, I wouldn't let the weight of the trans cooler just sit on these uh, trans cooler lines for any length of time. I used a floor jack to support the weight, and then uh, you can clean it out. I've got my front fascia removed, and uh, you can see I got good access to the top side of the uh, trans cooler here. Uh, with everything, with the exception of the back third, this bracket here, uh, which has kind of an angled uh, deflector for airflow there, that prevents you from getting to the uh, rear third of the cooler. But you don't have to remove the front fascia to clean the trans cooler. So the Ford engineers recommended changing the filters, both filters, which I did uh, warranty work. I think the real problem is right here. So I've got a light back behind there. This is the trans cooler, um, so I can see through that. That's the hose that runs uh, connection up top there on both corners. 
Um, and you have to get it out and down to basically clean it up properly. This thing was plugged up. Couldn't see through it. Um, you know, spraying it with water uh, doesn't uh, clean it out. It's Everything's just jammed in there. Uh, even hitting it with compressed air, which uh, we did at the uh, dealership there with uh, when I was getting the warranty work. That got out a lot of debris, but a, a ton of it is just jammed in there. And then uh, the way it sits up there in the mount, this back area here is kind of covered, so you can blow out and get access to the front area. But the back area, you know, maybe the back third or so, it was just plugged up. I spent a long time uh, blowing it out, cleaning it out, poking it out um, with uh, one of these uh, two inch little uh, needles and I can see through it. I think that will have solved my problem. Well, that's it. That's how to clean out your transmission cooler to solve transmission over temps uh, at the track. I had uh, the two days at Coda, as well as the Eagles Canyon uh, track day where I had over temps at all three days. Uh, I solved it uh, with cleaning out the transmission cooler. I went up to Hallett uh, here recently, had a, a hot, hot day there. It was over 100 degrees, drove the car hard. Transmission was uh, as advertised. No temperature issues with the uh, transmission. Hopefully you found this helpful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.